Welcome back to Better Minecraft. I'm Music Cat, and in today's video, we are going to be building a farm. A two in one farm, actually. I was wanting to build an iron farm and a villager breeder, and I totally forgot that Impulse SV came up with one, and I'm using his design. Um, so all of the credit goes to Impulse SV, and I can link his video down in the description. If I can remember to do that, I'll try. I have the worst memory. I'll probably make a note so I don't forget. Um, we'll just jump in and start working on that. And then um, I'll see you guys back here. Okay, now I've got the first part of the farm built, it's time to add the villagers, and let me tell you, moving villagers is no easy task, but I managed to do it, and I managed to keep them alive. Hey, so voice over, music cat here. I thought instead of you listening to music this time, that I would let you just listen to me talk to you while I'm scooching these villagers around. Um, I just pushed them on these wonderful rails that I was able to use the iron that we received from our adventures in the last episode and just got them scooched over there uh, pretty quickly. It didn't take too terribly long. It was um, kind of tedious just like anything is with villagers. They're just tedious. As you can see, this guy decided to come back. He's not really interested in being scared for the rest of his life by a zombie. Um, I don't know how he knew. Somebody must have told him our secret, but anyway. I didn't make you guys have to watch all of my moving of the villagers, so I did cut to when I got them a lot closer to the farm. And now I'm just going to move them up into the farm. And it's it's pretty self-evident of what I'm doing here, making sure he made it and holding my breath while I break the minecart. If I'm the only one that holds their breath while doing this, um, I know you all are lying because when you're breaking those minecarts, you hold your breath because you're afraid you're going to hit them. I don't know why I was so nervous about hitting them because I'm not trading with these villagers so it doesn't matter, but it's just a habit, I guess. Um, and then I'm getting this guy in and trying to figure out how to get around the other dude without busting him in the face. And uh, now we're gonna go get the rest of these guys. And this is the moment that I saw the pillager coming to kill my wonderful villagers. And I could not have that. I had to rescue them. But first I had to die for them. Um, and here I am fighting him off with my pickaxe because I wasn't thinking straight. I was just panicking and I didn't switch it to my axe. But I won in the end, so that's all that matters. And now we're going to get back to moving our villagers over and finishing up our farm. And now it's time for the second segment of putting together this farm where I built up the collection chamber, then the killing chamber, and where I put the zombie. Voiceover music cat here again. I totally forgot to mention my voice sounds really crappy because I have a runny nose 
I think it's just from allergies because spring is on the rise and I'm really excited about it. But um, that's why my voice sounds really bad. I'm so sorry. I tried to get my husband to do the voiceover, but he wasn't up for it this time. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I did not record getting the zombie. I died so much and I was getting very frustrated. So I decided to just leave that part out. I did get the zombie. I tried making it pick an item up but it would not pick up an item. So I had to get a uh, a name tag and I only had one. So if I failed and he fell into the killing chamber, I was done for. I was done for. But I managed to get it in and um, I'm really proud that I did it. And uh, yeah, so let's roll that clip. I am super excited to get to build around the farm. I was thinking to build maybe a large tree around it, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll figure that out later. I am honestly exhausted. <laughs> this took so much more time than I thought. Getting that zombie was horrible. I died so many times and I could not find any zombies that would pick up an item so I had to get a name tag to make that work out so it's done I'm really proud of myself for pushing through and getting it completed and I've got some other things to show you that I have accomplished in our little world here down in the mines I made a um, endless supply of lava so we can smelt things a lot quicker i probably should have put this knot down here but here it is it looks like it's working way better than i expected my inventory is a horrible mess right now it's working great it's small it's really just perfect for me and this is my mine. You guys haven't really seen it because I didn't think it was important to show the boring time lapses of me just mining out Deep Slate because we all know Deep Slate sucks to mine, especially with iron tools. And another thing that I have gotten done in our world is a little cow farm. It's nothing spectacular. I mean it it's just a it's just a cramming um farm where there's just too many in there and they all die. We also have a new friend in the house. I have to find him. Um it's a little a little duck. I I don't know where he went. I hope he didn't leave. Maybe I left the door open and I'm not sure why the anvil is sitting up here. Uh I just Oh I see it. There's rock. There's the pebbles there. Um, let's see if we can find our little friend. I don't hear him, so I'm afraid he may be despawned. And he did. I had a duck in the house. And he's gone. Which is really sad. He was here for a very long time, too, so... You didn't eat the duck, did you? No, I didn't think so. You haven't moved. Oh well, things are coming along. I think in the next video, I want to try to tear down like that ginormous lighthouse over by the farm and open up some more area over there to build some more farms. Think of something new to build. Maybe we'll build up a tree around the village breeder and iron farm. I was thinking of it could be kind of like the mother tree of the area. I don't know. Just trying to think of some creative storyline we could add. Um, it's going to be a huge tree. I don't know if I'm going to build a full tree or just build a stump. Um, but there's ideas. If you guys have any better ideas than a tree stump or 
full-blown tree if we did a full-blown tree that would take a few episodes to build up um, I'm not gonna be able to do it in one go but it's an idea so let me know what you guys think or if you have any other ideas for like a camouflage build over there and if you have any like story lore that would go along with um, the why of that building um, being there that's about it I just love I love how these areas are turning out they're so nice I don't know why there's icicles in here but there are <laughs> and that's weird I'm really sorry I know this was kind of a shorter video um, it's been rough my kids getting over being sick like last week and now uh, my toddlers or not my toddler my baby he is nine months old and he is teething and i'll tell you what i'm not getting any sleep um but that's okay it'll pass it's just a phase um i really appreciate you guys hanging in there hopefully our next video i'll have a little more time in between videos and i'll get something out that looks great um and is a little bit longer and yeah so make sure you leave a comment about um, the building we're going to put around the Iron Village Breeder Farm. And I will see you guys on Friday.